Oh. And all right, what is going on, everyone? Welcome back to the channel and week 36 of the off season. You'll be seeing on the screen, firstly, we weighed in at 100.5 kilos last week, 100.6, sorry, which is a half a kilo, so a 0.5 drop. That's where I got the 0.5 from. Azik is really like recomp so nicely at this weight, so hopefully, we do start to move up this week. If not, some changes will necessarily be necessary, of course. Following the weight, obviously you'll be seeing some of my top sets from quads. I am slightly and slowly dying inside. What a session it was. Got five reps on the, has got up one rep from last week with 250 kilos, which quarter of a ton. Gives me anxiety. I've got, I'm actually anxious right now for legs next Monday. And we've barely even got past, I'm not even at the gym yet, realistically. So we've got to eat and leave. I get so sweaty now, I have to make a slight change after the session. Following that, obviously, we took an extra five kilos on the pendulum squat. It's like putting a plaster on a stab wound, the way that I wrap in that the plate so they don't fall because a gust of wind could make them fall off. But luckily, we're in enough control of the weight to keep it on chest. I've got like a, a tan line here from my vest. I don't know if you can see. Also, you have seen I'm freshly cut. <laughs> I told you at the end of last week, next time you see me, I'd have a trim. I've got a nice trim on Saturday. Obviously, today is Monday. If I can get into my vest. Oh, yeah. But like I said, four reps on the pendulum squat. As I struggle to pull this down, I need a hand. Someone come and help me. Right. There we go. I'm decent. Four reps, which I probably could have got a fifth. But I like to just leave the 50-50 the rep when I can when I do my first round I guess you call it with a new load for down three reps but I could have got another and I took progressions in the previous exercise as well match reps on the leg extension but I improved the quality of the reps I took progression in rep quality this week the good thing about a leg extension is after a couple of reps on that first set your quads need to be blown up basically because if you can have that much intent and purpose in your first set your first warm-up set of the pyramid by the time you get to your top set your body will be accustomed and connected, that mind-muscle connection with the load when you get to the heavier weight and you'll contract it just the same as you did on your first set. But if you rush through your warm-up set, it's because they're light. When you get to that top set, you won't be comfortable in those end ranges and won't be able to contract the muscle properly because you haven't acclimated to the execution, regardless if you do it the same exercise for two years. If you don't go into that session as if you really concentrate on mind-muscle connection, you can just forget and get less out of your set. You may get more reps, you may lift more weight, but you won't be doing it as well. Always, even if you don't train the pyramid style, even if you train a top set back off set, it's probably more important if you train that style of training because you only have the one set to make the most out of. So treat those warm-up sets like top sets even if you're doing one or two reps in, the, in those feeders. I took an extra two reps on the squat press, not shown. Took an extra rep on the split squats, not shown. But what is shown is the pump shots. They were looking very, very, very nice. I have to say so myself. It's struggling to pose. That's how you know they're full. That's how you know you've worked hard if you can't pose that muscle and it starts like cramp and die off mid pose. But enough talking because I'm starving. I'm gonna get this down me and I'll catch you all tomorrow for delts. Right, fingers crossed that stays up, but today is Wednesday. There's a couple of Pepsi Maxes that I'll be getting through today. Non-training day, a little bit of extra to help with hunger. I've just finished meal four. It's been a busy and hectic day, but it's a triple threat because we've got three unboxings to do right now. And while I do that, obviously on the screen will be a top set from my Atlantis Shoulder Press. Five reps with 150 kilos, up five kilos, minus one rep, all time heaviest. We're gonna run this up now to about seven or eight before I take the next load progression again, because my pressure tramp has always been my weakest and now it's starting to get better. Of course, my other lifts are starting to get better as well. So it's still my weakest by no figure of them imagination. I think that's the saying. Brain fog has been a busy day, man. But yeah, and then a couple of punch shots as well. Obviously, the first one, as you can tell, is on my protein delivery. I need to be careful because this is, Propped up on very DIY thing right now. I had a call with Brad earlier. Set some plans in motion. Got two four way flavors. Orange mango. That was the one. I thought I was talking about that earlier. I couldn't remember which one I got. Orange mango. And then I think I believe this is pineapple. Yeah, pineapple. Pineapple is always a goat flavor with anything. So hence something coming a bit later on. And then my protein also sent me some. Samples to try, mojito, which is banging, I've had it before, apple and tropical dragon fruit, which I will try as well. I'll let you know how these get on, maybe I'll try one of these tomorrow. We'll go with, we'll go with probably the apple tomorrow, but I never know, I might surprise you post-workout. And then 
just to stock up on a couple of kilos of seafood dextrin is too weird. I'm gonna get it all out because it's be even more aggro to put it away again. So that's that, one down. And now for number two, I'm gonna show you my, my details. So I might come and find me. I've been in the prep hole today where I was just looking back at a year ago, because I was five weeks out a year ago. I had some digestive karma. And obviously talking to pineapple, electrolytes ready for tomorrow's session. And then in with the my protein. The condition change was, was drastic. You'll have to check my Instagram to see that. I'll put a side by side from the pump shots of a year's difference. <laughs> uh, this time last week, uh, it was out of five guys. Then I trained quads and then I hit delts on the Monday. And the pump was bumping, that's for sure. That was the start of a refeed week, which in that vlog, the five weeks out vlog, I spoke a lot about some of my struggles that I was going through during that time because I was on a bit of a diet break. We were plummeting hard down on the weight, but obviously to refuel so I didn't get too far ahead of myself. I had a diet break refeed week and it was hard seeing that weight go up. I'm totally honest with you. Um, I'll go through it in a lot more detail in the video. But that's the reason I started filming the vlogs was during the prep to document the whole journey to look back on. See, objectively, was even just looking back now, it's not the same as how I thought it was at the time, but also subjectively just to enjoy the process again of me being in prep, which was, it was a fun watch. So go check out the, the prep series if you haven't already. I've got a conviction and a mega pump. I enjoyed the blue, uh, blueberry, is it blue ice, blue rose ice pop or something. It's a bit medicine-y, but the pre-workout was savage. So I've gone for the pineapple sherbet flavor here. Just another one to try to the collection. I'm gonna start collecting all the flavors of the Conte ones now because it's left a good impression. So I thought, why not grab the mega pump as well? Being st I'm gonna stack this tomorrow. They, they like to send a sample as well. So big up to them. Sort of caramel repair the way I'll have tomorrow evening with my high day final meal, mix it in with my cream of rice. But it is banging, by the way. I've tried it already. And then cream of rice, got the triple chocolate flavor, which is banging. As in the flavor itself, I don't know about their one. Which is obviously why I'm here to try it. I don't know how we get on. I was giving it a go tomorrow, but JP's triple chocolate is banging. So if it's anything like the, the same sort of flavor, it'll be good. But like I said, I've got a stack here. I'm gonna get back to work now. And next time you see me, I'll be whipping this up. So catch you just in a sec. Right, so I'm just about to, to leave. I'll do a quick taste test because I usually drink it just before I get there. Initial thoughts is quite nice, little lick off the finger, right? Cheers. Oh my God. I said before that the uh, the ice pot was a bit medicine-y and a bit ugh, but you know, it is the worse it tastes, the better it, <laughs> it hits to get the tingles. But that mega pump, the raspberry, is it raspberry twist? I think it's called, that is savage, so good. And even makes the blueberry ice pop taste nice. So. What I'm gonna do, get myself to the gym. Big back day going down. I'll catch you a little bit later on to go through it. <laughs> right, I'll set you up here because like I said earlier, someone's doing the carpet in my house. So probably gonna be the best to talk through everything. On the screen, you'll be seeing a couple of sets or two exercises from back day. What I would do is just do them as pyramids. I filmed all my sets for T-bar row and deadlifts for Brad. What I'll do is I'll put them there, a couple of reps of each one as I build up. You can see how everything progresses throughout the pyramid on both. I really had some different cue-ins, especially for deadlifts. It sounds funny, but I'm trying to deadlift wrong slightly which sounds weird just because i don't want to use as much drive from my quads and my glutes because they're very dominant and i want to put more stress on my erectors and lower back which in principle when you teach something to deadlift don't put too much stress on your lower back but i am really trying to develop the meat around that lower back area so deadlifting slightly wrong in terms of the cue in is going to actually help it somewhat which I feel it has because you'll see the pump shots following that my lower lats had a bit more like to them today so definitely building some and developing some meat in that area and the pump was there meaning that we definitely worked that area of the lat but i've got apple here a new flavor of the kibway samples that i showed you um yesterday so cheers that's very nice still a little bit frothy because obviously it takes seconds to settle but i wanted to do it quickly to show you before i get my meal out but it is, that's very nice to be fair. It's not too imposing, too full on, too loud as a flavor, if that makes sense. It's quite subtle, which is nice, which you want from the clear way, really, because it's like a nice drink. You can actually enjoy it. But of course it's high day, so I've got my minced rice avocado, 250 ml of apple juice, and 50 grams of cicadextrin in with the whey that you just saw there. Verdict on the pre and pump, or you can see for yourself, the pump was pumping, new parts of my back were pumping, so. 
I mean, there's no, there's not nothing bad to say about it. So happy with that. The flavour was bang on, bang on, banging like I said before. So, ah, oh, little <laughs> apologies, got a nice little cramp. So the plan is eat this, get myself home. It's shave day ahead of check-ins tomorrow excited to see how i'm looking in terms of weight because like you've seen over the past month i've only put on 200 grams because it's been jump up a kilo lose 700 grams jump up 500 grams lose 700 grams that sort of thing so my weight hasn't been stable but it also hasn't stayed going up which is annoying on my part because obviously it's a bit of a mental battle to see your weight go down and you're like oh i want more food then the next week it goes up and you're like oh maybe i don't need new food and then the next week it goes down again and it's like well i definitely need more food but my conditions bang on and then i'm still progressing in the gym and looking at it objectively without a food focus I need to wait for it to actually settle before taking that progression and not push it too quickly because i have got a long scope for growth which i'm very happy to do lock in and just removing that emotion from it and seeing it in the third person instead of too much of myself it's just hard but it's necessary great session happy with how everything went get home shave work block got new onboarding to do welcome to the team another new member to the team and then got some form reviews to do as well before the group call at seven this evening so without further ado i'm gonna hurry up and get to do that and i'll catch you a bit later on right i am in golden hour as you can see and just doing some steps before my mill five because on the screen you'll be seeing me weighed in at 100.1 kilos this morning that's another half a kilo down which meant one thing, the food has gone up and there's no more Stairmaster, I'm happy to hear, but just making up the rest of that with steps. So my cardio in its directness is 20 minutes AM walk and 15 minutes evening walk. However, most of my walking blocks that I do between my work blocks and food last around 15 minutes anyway, so it's kind of not much of a difference. I'll make sure that I just spread them out more evenly throughout the day. Obviously, I have 15 minutes on the stairs that I would usually do post-workout. I'll just either do some work on the treadmill after my session, but if it's busy like today, there was no treadmill, so I just left, had my meal three, and then when I got home, I did a little walk before meal four, doing a little walk again before meal five. I'll do my final little walk before meal six, and it just gets a bit of expenditure between the meals, help with digestion, keep the metabolism burning, all that good stuff. It's not only a mental refresh when you don't feel bloated because you've walked, it's also a physical relief because you're not sitting on that food as much and you're actually ready for that next meal. You would have already been seeing the checking photos looking good in terms of a condition standpoint. A little bit flatter, I can see, but still happy with the look. The X-frame on the front double is still good. Really like my front lat spread. I feel that's one of my best shots, that's for sure. And the back double and the back lat, the back lat, I said a little bit flatter. When I'm flatter, my back shots, I can't open up as much. It's just something I don't connect with as well, but we're working on that. It definitely feels a lot better. When I've got a back pump, I can really open up my lats. I'm just working on doing that when I don't necessarily have that at all pump. But the back double is definitely looking a lot better, especially the meaty part in the lower lats and like the mid back to thickness area. I can't really complain on that front because it's going up and improving. My chest workout was so good today. Really happy with how it went. I'll take you through a couple of exercises and the pump a bit later on because my arms and my delts are going a bit numb from holding the camera up now. I get to that point where any little inconvenience gives me a pump. So catch you in a bit. Right, so let me sit down. The cream of rice is in, ready to go. You know how it is, final meal of the day. Actually 20 grams more cream of rice than usual in my final meal, up to 120 instead of 100. Meal two is up to 120. Raw weight jasmine rice to the 90. The rest stays to settle. And an extra 30 grams of cereal post-workout, up to 80 from 50. So they're the changes to the medium days. We've got an extra higher day. A couple of times a week, I'm having a couple of low fat hash browns with my first meal of the day, I think. That's like an optional thing, so I may do that. And then my low day food has gone up a little bit. 100 grams of oats of 85. And then... 300 grams of potato dry weight instead of 250 in both middle five and six on those days those days the low days fall on both my rest days so it works out quite nicely nice little pullback reset go again for the next block of trainings but you'll be seeing on screen anyway my top set with the 55s we got four reps could have got that fearful clearly didn't want it enough but all jokes aside that's the heaviest i've ever lifted gonna run that up in the coming weeks and i bring up the rest of my pyramid as well so the set before got up from 45s to 47 and a half just to bridge that gap between the 55s and 45s and then the rest of the pyramid will come up and follow suit. Six reps on the Jim Leclerc press. I changed my pyramid and changed a little bit of tweaking the form and execution. And it was brutal. <laughs> so much brutal. In fact, so much brutality that I had to drop 20 kilos off of my top set to reset. But it felt a lot better on the chest. 
admittedly so. The rest of the session was good, progressed in every lift from what I can remember. Pump shots showed and told the details that extra 30 grams of raw weight rice went straight to the pump. Super happy with that. Give me two secs while I stir the cream rice. Right, turn the light on as I take the cream rice out, give it a ding because that is going to end the video. Hope you did enjoy. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe to me if you haven't already. Hit notifications so don't miss when we upload. Before I go, new flavor I tried, the Conte triple chocolate. Bang in, first meal of the day, went down a treat. Definitely worth giving a go. I've got salted caramel, my goat in here, with 20 grams of almond butter and a bit of sweetener as well. So leave a comment down below, anything you wanna see in the coming videos, and I will catch you in the next one.